hands-on with iOS 12.2 Beta 1 with lots of new changes and features. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. It's been a while since we had a substantial iOS beta update, but that all changes today with the release of iOS 12.2 Beta 1. And you're going to find several new noteworthy changes and features. Let's start with the screen mirroring icon in Control Center. iOS 12.2 ditches the old AirPlay glyph that used to reside in the screen mirroring section of Control Center and it's replaced with just two generic looking displays. Another noteworthy change is a redesigned Apple TV remote in Control Center. Now it takes up the entire screen and I have to say I really dig that full screen look. What do you guys think? At CES 2019, it was announced that Apple had partnered with several TV manufacturers to bring AirPlay 2 support and HomeKit support to televisions. So this new change makes sense. In the Home app settings, you'll now see Allow Speaker and TV Access. In the Wallet app, you're going to notice a whole bunch of UI tweaks, some big, some small. So you can tap on individual transactions and see those. And when you tap the Info button, you're, you'll notice a slightly redesigned table view and now uses those inset rectangle rows, which have that bubbly look. We've seen this look before, but it's a brand new look for the wallet app. If you go to the Safari settings, you're going to notice a new switch at the bottom of the page. And that switch is entitled motion and orientation access. So you can give websites access to your motion data. It'll be interesting to see how that's used. And while we're in the settings app, if you mosey on over to the maps app settings and scroll down, you're going to notice a new air quality index switch. You can enable that and now you'll see air quality index data in the bottom right hand corner of the maps app. That's really cool. And in iOS 12.2, if you go to a website that isn't using HTTPS, you're going to be alerted in the address bar. It's going to tell you not secure right there on the left side of the address bar. All right. So here is my favorite new feature in iOS 12.2 beta one, the ability to insert search suggestions when searching in Safari without submitting the search. That's something that Google Chrome has been able to do for a long time now. We've never had this ability in Safari until now. See those little arrows? Those allow you to insert the suggestions into the address bar without actually submitting the suggested search. So you can build on that suggested search and add on to it. That is so handy. I think that's reason enough alone to update to 12.2. What do you guys think? Thumbs up if you agree. And to all of our Canadian viewers and readers, you will get access to Apple News in iOS 12.2. And in this latest beta, web developers can now have this color picker UI appear as its own keyboard. That's really cool. But you know what's really cool? Having inline Apple Music playback within Siri. So you just ask Siri to play something and the music controls appear right within the Siri interface. And speaking of Apple Music, full song search results would now display the name of the album corresponding to the song. That's again, super handy. So needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, this is a jam packed release of the likes we haven't seen for quite some time. And for that reason, I'm confident that we'll probably find additional new features as well. If you find any, let me know down below in the comment section. And just overall, what is your favorite new feature in iOS 12.2 beta one? Sound off down below in the comments. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.